New York City is the center of the fashion world, and Barbie is a career woman in the big city who loves her squad. Let's make sure she's walking down the street in style. You can't talk about fashion in New York without mentioning the infamous ladies from Sex and the City. Let's dress your Barbie squad like our favorite ladies from the show. But first, make sure you show us some love by subscribing. All right, let's take a trip to Manhattan. Carrie. Let's make Carrie's signature outfit. We're going to need some tulle, ribbon, and a pink balloon. Snip the balloon just below the neck. Fold it in half and cut out slits for her arms. Then cut off the bottom. This is going to be the top of her dress. Next, gather the toll and hot glue it to an elastic band. When it's done, it should look like this. Trim the toll at the bottom. Now add a second layer of toll behind the first layer. Snip the ends off a white balloon and put it on Barbie. Wrap the toll skirt around her waist and glue it in the back. Snip any extra fabric. Now add your ribbon and complete the look. Gorgeous! Samantha, fold a piece of red fabric and measure it to the doll's body. Mark the outline of her body with chalk. Cut out the pattern, making sure to snip it at the top for her neckline. Open it up, fold it over, and sew it at the seams. Now take another piece of fabric and wrap it around Barbie's body pinning it in the back. Trace at the pins with chalk and cut along the chalk line. Sew at the seam. Cut a small strip of fabric and make a belt with jewelry rings. We've got our pieces. Let's see it come together. Wrap the belt around and hook the rings together. Time for a haircut. We'll show more of Samantha a little later. Charlotte. For Charlotte's look, you'll need an old pink t-shirt. Cut out a section of the shirt and wrap it around Barbie's body. Pin it in the back and slide it off. Then mark with chalk and cut it at the pin line. Sew the seam together and snip at the top to make a plunge neckline. Cut a thin strip of black fabric to make a belt and glue it in the back. So classy, Charlotte. Miranda, first fold a piece of shiny gold fabric and measure it to your doll. Trace out her body with a marker. Cut out the pattern. Flip it right side out and hot glue the seams together. Put the dress on Barbie and sew the sleeves. Make sure you allow for this peekaboo shoulder action at the top. Make a belt with a strip of faux leather fabric and sew the ends together around her waist. Use black thread creating this crossover look. Mr. Big. Let's dress Ken like the biggest heartbreaker in Manhattan. Cut a square of light blue ribbon and glue it, folding corner to corner. Fold and glue again. Now cut the bottom of his tie and glue it to the knot you just made. Glue the tie to the neck of Ken's shirt. He's so sophisticated, right ladies? Shopping bags. If there's one thing you'll always find in the hands of these ladies, it's shopping bags. Freeze frame and copy this pattern onto a piece of black construction paper. Fold the paper at the lines, the way you see here. Then 
Then, glue the sides together with a glue stick. Push out the folds at one end to make the bottom of the bag. Next, poke holes in the top of the bag for the straps. Use a large needle to feed a thin piece of ribbon through the holes. Tie a couple of knots to the ends. Snip the ends and there you go! Now print the Gucci logo and glue it to the front of the bag. Make a Chanel bag following the same template, but with white paper and a black shoestring. Shoes! These New York gals need the perfect shoes to strut around town. Grab Barbie's heels and cut out a tiny piece of faux leather material. Cut to fit the shoe and glue it on. Add a strap around the ankle. and paint with nail polish. Use a toothpick to add details with silver nail polish. Don't these look fabulous? Flags! To make these, Print out some little American flags and glue them to toothpicks. Yay, America! Sign. Grab a balloon stick, some wooden skewers, and a rubber band. Bunch the skewers together around the balloon stick and secure with the rubber band. Do the same on the other end. Print out some New York City street signs and glue them to foam board. Cut them out with an X-Acto knife. Then paint your sign post with silver acrylic paint. Glue the signs to the post. Traffic Cone Add to the street detail with some traffic cones made from Play-Doh. Roll a piece into a cone shape. Cut off the top. Then flatten out a piece of Play-Doh and cut it into a square shape. Cut the bottom of the cone too. Cut a strip of white Play-Doh and wrap it around the cone. Do that one more time and you've got an authentic looking NYC traffic cone. Food truck. Find a gift box and print out some pictures of food. Trace and cut a window out of the lid. Glue on pictures of your favorite foods. Then glue pictures to the inside of the box too. Put the lid on, then grab some round wooden beads to make the wheels. Glue on printed pictures of wheels and then glue them to the bottom of your food truck. Order up! Let's make a New York City taxi cab. Print and cut out a picture of a cab. Then glue it to a stick. Print out some pictures of Times Square and prop them up with skewer sticks and strips of cardboard. Gray marble contacts paper makes a perfect street. Now it's time to set the stage with your Manhattan ladies. You can totally own the mean streets of New York as long as you've got your friends by your side. Come on girls, let's go to fashion week. Taxi! After the runway, let's hit the shops. Then maybe we'll grab some lunch and see a Broadway show. Manhattan is the best. 
Oh, hey, Mr. Big. There's no denying, this is a city of love, friendship, and of course, fashion. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more crafty hacks and ideas. See you later.